Hi everybody, Richard Trowman's here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, today we're doing another product walkthrough and as mentioned uh, earlier, we're doing a series of walkthroughs of AI tools related to document review. Uh, with us today is Jennifer. Hi Jennifer. Hi Richard, thanks for having me. Oh, pleasure. Um, who's going to talk us through Kira Systems, or more commonly known simply as Kira, uh, probably the most well-known uh, AI doc review tool. And uh, we're going to look at uh, M&A due diligence because, well, you know, that really is the starting place. And what we're looking at right here is our worksheets tab. On the right hand side, we have the provisions or the clauses that you want Kira to find in your documents. We call these our built-in smart fields, and they map to provisions and clauses that legal professionals are already familiar with. Over on the left-hand side, you have the full list of our smart fields. They're organized into groups so that each group includes the most relevant smart fields for the applicable use case. Um, we currently have over a thousand built-in smart fields that are trained by our in-house legal professionals and subject matter experts, and we're adding more smart fields all the time, so this list will continue to grow. For today's demo, we'll click on the M&A due diligence group and scrolling through, um, you, can, you can see our other groups to get an idea of uh, what our smart fields cover. And while we're looking at commercial contracts today, this process is gonna be similar whether you're working in M&A due diligence or other practice areas. And so you'll see that by default, some of the more common fields um, used in due diligence projects are loaded on the right-hand side. Um, we can always go in and remove these provisions if they're not needed, and we can also reorder uh, the fields on the worksheet. So next, what we're going to do is to add some more provisions for Kira to find in this project. I'm going to add, let's see, notice and termination for convenience. And within this list, you can click on the information icon of any smart field in the add fields column to get a description of what that smart field is intended to find and also the document types on which it was trained. And then over on the right hand side, uh, the page icon that appears next to a smart field name means that Kira is going to extract um, actual text from the agreement for this field. And the boxes icon means that it's a question to which Kira will assign an answer. So this could be a yes, no answer um, like it is here, or in some cases, a multiple choice answer. Um, so as I just mentioned, we have over a thousand smart fields that cover most of um, our customers' abstraction and analysis needs um, that are out of the box. And to the extent that you'd like Kira to find something different um, or more specific than what we have built in, you can actually train Kira to find that information automatically. So from here, um, if you are starting a new project, Kira would prompt you to go to the next step, which is to add documents. Um, and then also, if you don't have the documents yet, you can always stop here and then come back to it later. For now, um, in the interest of time for today, I've uploaded the, doc the documents already. And uh, there are multiple ways to, to actually do this, to import documents into Kira. Your browser um, may support drag and drop, which is easy to do with zip files. You can also click on the import button and then navigate to find files that are anywhere on your system. And this is also where you can use our integrations with interlinks or HiQ. So um, if you were uploading documents, what you would see is an upload window in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Um, so the documents go through three steps of processing. So what Kira is doing is converting the documents so that they're in searchable format. And then Kira will automatically classify the documents by type. So like supply agreement, like we see here, um, or employment agreement or lease, and also give you the language, and of course, identify and extract the fields that we've defined in the worksheet. So next, um, we'll take a look at how Kira automatically highlights what we asked it to look for. So this is the document viewer. So over on the left-hand side, um, you can see the original agreement that was uploaded. And then on the right-hand side, you can see that Kira has found and extracted the title party's date and then the other provisions that we added in the worksheets tab. The highlights on the agreement itself are color coded to a particular smart field. And they also have hyperlinks in the field name to its place um, in the worksheet pane on the right hand side and then vice versa. I click here, that'll take me to the term and renewal provision. So scrolling down, we can also see that Kira has found the termination for convenience provision. 
And that's a result of our machine learning being fine-tuned to be able to accurately reproduce the analysis that's previously been done by our team of experienced lawyers. And that's even on new and unfamiliar documents that um, Kira hasn't seen before, like this one. So it doesn't actually matter if the word um, terminate or termination appears in the provision or in the document, <clears throat> because Kira has been trained to identify the concept underlying termination for convenience. We can also take a look at our term and renewal provision back up here. And all of these results are editable. So you can make any edit it, edits that are needed. Um, and the changes to the text uh, that you make here actually have no impact on how Kira views and extraction. So that ultimately the user still controls the content of what Kira is finding and of anything that gets exported. So we're just getting there a little bit faster. We can also flag the results. We can add notes in a summary section. And we can also add field level tags to help us uh, visualize and organize the information that Kira's extracted. And then here we can actually take a look at an answer that Kira has provided. Um, I touched on this briefly earlier. Our answers and insights are a smart field type where users um, can train Kira to ask questions or pick from a selection of built-in questions and get answers in the form of yes, no, or multiple choice options across our contracts and other documents. Um, so we see here that Kira is telling us that this particular agreement does not automatically re renew. And then once we're done in this agreement, we can mark it as reviewed and then exit back out to our document list. So now we can see the review tag appears here on the document list window, um, also tells you who reviewed the documents. And, and also we can export the results for others to review. So you can see that the workflow is, um, it's trackable and it's easy to kind of see where things stand. The interface for training Kira to find, um, a, you know, different information or more specific information that we, what, than what we provide out of the box is the same as what we just saw. So as a quick example here, um, we're going to find the further assurances clause and then we're gonna highlight it and then tell Kira. So what we're doing here is basically telling Kira that this is the language that we want Kira to find um, that hasn't already been included out of the box. So once we highlight that, it'll appear over on the summary side. Um, so when you've completed this process on a number of documents, um, you basically click a button and then Kira will start to learn those concepts based on the highlights that you've given it so that you can um, apply that learning to documents that you review subsequently. Thanks, uh, Jennifer. Just a couple of quick questions. Uh, if you could just go back to the main dashboard that you had yeah. before. At the very top left, it actually says the word dashboard. What, what, what does that show? So the dashboard provides a, an overview of the, of the documents and the kind of the, the review progress that are in the project. Um, we also have some items like the uh, OCR quality um, so that you know that documents <clears throat> that have a lower OCR score, you might need to spend a little bit time, more time to review those and just make sure that um, the information that's extracted is, is accurate. Um, and then we just have some basic statistics about the project. So what's been reviewed, the types of documents um, that are present in the project and what fields were added. Thanks, Jennifer. That's very helpful. And uh, good to see what Kira can do these days. Thanks very much. Thanks so much, Richard.